We're Alive, a story of survival. Chapter 34 It Only Takes One Part 1 of 3 Written by Casey Wayland When was the last transmission from Boulder? About two hours ago. No emergency response codes? Nothing? None. Keep trying. Nothing? You serious? Not even a fucking telegraph. Sir, all IP pings are timing out. No systems online. Get a task force scrambled. I want to know what's going on there. We're too late. Keep trying. They have satellite phones, for fuck's sake. How can they all be unreachable? Sir, most of them go through the gateway, and that's not responding. Then try the ones that don't. We are. What numbers don't use that system? What are the direct lines? There are three listed here. The mayor, Boulder Command, and the last one's blank. Where is that? What's the third? Cross, what about your guy up there? Didn't you give him a sat phone? Uh, Carl's here now, sir. If they got overrun, then... Their comms could just be down. Half the shit equipment relies on things outside our control. We can't jump to conclusions. You want to send someone up there to check it out? Keep trying. Wake up the engineers. Make sure it's not on our end that's broken. And I want our air assault teams on standby. Yeah, I'll have them prep the helicopters. What's the third line, sir? Do you know what it is? It's a private line. I'll go try. Can you imagine? If that place got overrun, that's like a hundred thousand. A hundred thousand of those fucking things? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Your people. They wouldn't even know what they were up against. We didn't have time to warn them. Uh, maybe Colonel's right. You know, maybe it's a calm thing. How long has satellite last anyway? There's multiple. And, like, forever. Well, at least they got a good amount of us, right? About 8,200 military. Stationed there right now. And a lot of those are National Guard. A bunch served in Iraq before. They should know what they're doing. Uh, the engineers are on their way. Good. I tried. Uh, no one was available on the private line. We'll wait until the techs look at the equipment before we move forward with our other options. In the meantime, keep trying. Sir, if you're gonna send someone there, I or, could- Or me, sir. Just say the word. I need you both here. But sir... Not another word. We need to start going over what we know and consider what our options are. Yes, sir. All right, let's get to work. The technicians came and looked at everything on our end. It took a few hours to check it all, but the gateway was up and the satellite phone lines were working, at least on our end. That meant something was wrong in Boulder. As much as I tried to focus on what was going on here, my mind kept wandering back to everyone there. I never really considered that place at risk. If anything, Irwin had more of a chance of getting attacked. I thought I was in between the crazy things in LA and my friends, but now they found a way around me. Same, sir. No signal. I'm going over some other options, sir, to see if we can set up some alternate comps. What's that? Private Carl Thomas's updated report on the crash site. He came by and dropped it off. Sure added a lot of details about the one with the number two on her arm. He probably remembered a bunch later. You know, wanted to make sure it got added in. Yeah, I'm sure he did. If we're going to send the air assault teams, we should do it soon. You think we've waited long enough? They have just enough fuel for one way. Would you so easily send good men in there? What other option do you have? Right now we know nothing, and that isn't changing. All right. Do it. Send in just one air assault team for recon. Make sure they have a direct line to us. I'm on it. Send out Echo team. Make sure they have SAC comms. Carl's phone should still be with him at the hospital.
About 20 minutes passed. We kept track on how far a recon was. About 60 miles out, we heard something. Well, that was fast. Boulder? No, it's Echo Team. Go ahead. What? What is it? There's an inbound chopper, sir. One of the Blackhawks out of Boulder. They're in radio range with our Echo Team. Should be in range with us soon. What are they saying? Ho hold on, sir. They're relaying messages now. Okay. Boulder's under attack. It's confirmed. Power and comm relay was hit first. How many are infected? Hundreds inside the walls. That was when they left. Saying the city's putting up a hell of a fight. We're picking them up on short range now. Tell Echo Team to keep heading to Boulder. Tell the other assault teams to follow. We had to get a message back. We need help. The command staff is gone. Bear is most likely dead. Send out Alpha to golf now? Do it. Who am I talking with? This is Warren Officer Greg Maldoon. We're heading back to... No, I got this. You just get us there. Crew Chief Specialist Anthony Robbins, 2nd Battalion, 135th A Company, Wolfpack, Colorado Army National Guard. Boulder's power and communications got hit first. We tried to contact the other radios, but got no confirmation from Irwin. So my team came to you. Over. We didn't get those messages. How many losses so far? What about non-military? Over. Too many to count. Everyone else is in lockdown. Our command staff got hit. Our military units are fighting back, but we need help. Our helicopters just took off. We just sent our assault choppers. They're on their way. Over. Get a containment team out to the helipad. Tell them to land there so they can check them out. Will do. The minute we receive any comms from the ground, let me know. We have to take control of the situation there before it gets out of hand. Signs. They're getting closer. I know. I know. Wait. There. Hey, over here. Is it help? It's the army. Oh, wait. Hey. Hey, you. Get back inside. We're, we're trying. We have our own supplies and things at the home and... Never mind, this place will do. Hey! Hey, let us in! Try the next one. Hello? Please? Help, we're stuck out here! Go away! Please! Sir! We need help! There's a girl out here with me and we're cold! Please, if you just... Go away! Going. Please! He's not listening. We should just keep moving. Oh, we wouldn't be stuck out here if we had just left the hospital when I said to. Well, I'm sorry. I was worried about you. Wanted the doctors to monitor everything. There was a lot at risk. You want me to help find some place? Because I might be able to now. No, 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 no. Keep your bandages on. We didn't go through all that just to mess it up now. If it worked, and I went through it, not you. I was there with you the whole time. Whatever. It's not going to matter if we freeze to death. Just let me try. No. We're not going to. Come on. Or we get eaten. Just stop. Hey, this one. Hello? Hello? Please. We... Hello? 
Is anyone there? No. It's dark. Then get in! Hello? Oh, it's not much warmer in here. At least we're inside. And whoever lived here boarded it up? Not very well. See? This is why I wanted to go to our house. What about Pegs and Kelly? If you thought our house was far, they're on the north side. Like I know where that is. You don't even know where we are. I need to fix this. Safety first. I just need to find their tools. It's so cold. Where does this go? Oh, a basement. Oh, here we go. Found some stuff. Okay. Here, point the flashlight. Right there. Isn't that loud? Maybe we should just find someplace better. We'll be safe here. There we go. Most of these others are not that bad. It was just that one. What do you think happened? How did some get in? The others froze up. I don't know, Hope. But they'll handle it. See? They're prepared for this. We'll be fine. What was that? It's next door. The guy who didn't let us in. Oh, 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 to the basement. Take my hand. Not so tight. Sorry. Ow! Help me. Easy. One step at a time. Then guide me, because I can't see them. I'm trying. They boarded up down here too. Doesn't sound like the soldiers are handling it. They will. Just stay quiet and... Stop! Back up! Back up! This way! Dead? Yeah. I was aiming for its head, but I got its throat. I do not need the detail. But its skin. What the hell is going on?
You want me to evacuate all of Boulder? Are you insane? Do they even have the manpower for that? Look, sir, I saw those things up close and in the air. We hit them hard and fast, and they still flew through our blockades. We lost three ground units in minutes, and the soldiers they didn't kill turned and started fighting against us. What about heavy armor units? They got any of those? Very few. We have tanks here, but we would have wasted a lot of fuel to transport them all the way to Boulder. The air assault teams will be there soon. Hopefully they can make a difference. Major Thorne is with them, and he'll resume command there on the ground. What? What? Seven? Eight choppers leave here? That's not enough! Don't you understand what's going on? Things are bad. It's getting worse. Easy, Specialist. All right, we're just trying to figure this out. How many soldiers are there? H how many people are locked in their homes right now? The civilians got guns, but we had bigger, and it still didn't stop those fuckers. These things are like the soldier versions of them. What did you say? I'm fully aware of how many people are up there, and that's the problem. You say evacuate? To where? We don't have the resources, or the space if they were to come here. They would show up and everyone would starve to death. And that's if there weren't Turners among them. And how would they get here? They're a thousand miles away. Then find a way, because they're dead if they stay put. When we ran out of ammo on the helicopter, I filmed this with my camera. We could do nothing but watch. Seth. Puck. Cross. In my office. You. Stay here. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? Sit. The third number isn't a private line. What does that matter? Then what is it? It was something we set up before you got here, Sergeant Cross. A failsafe. What? How? Are you familiar with Pantex? No. It's a weapons disposal plant in Texas. You want to hurry this up? There's a lot more going on right now. There was a time in the beginning of this when we lost entire cities. So before we lost communication with other bases, it was decided that we would have something in place, in case a position got overrun. What, like an escape plan? Not exactly. What did they have at Pantex? B-83s, capable of a 1.2 megaton blast. A fucking nuke? You put a fucking nuke there? Keep your voice down, Corporal. Do you have any idea what those will do? I'm fully aware of the effects. Who else knows about this? The soldiers who went with me to retrieve it. And the engineers who put them in place. Wait, wait, them? Put them in place? There's more than one? One installed in Boulder, and the other one here. Here? The third sat phone line is a direct link for detonation. Then who the fuck controls ours? In the case that either place gets overrun, the other city would have the ability. So if some dumb shit in Boulder dials the line here, we're done? It requires a code. Just a code, huh? Why the hell didn't you tell us this before? I was only gonna tell you if it was necessary. And it is now, right? Sit down. You're not gonna... That, that's not even an option. Why not? You understand what will happen if a population that size turns into those things? You're not even giving them a chance to get out of there. Exactly. I meant the civilians. And I know who you meant. Bigger war, bigger picture. They've changed, and so have the rules. No, no, those people are all we have left. Maybe the last real city in the world. If they go, that's it. And you're not even gonna try? Hey. Sir, we've got a call from the HQ direct line. A few units got back into headquarters and are holding it, but they don't know for how long. Uh, they're getting up the comm gateway now. Just putting this out there, but the air assault teams are gonna be there within the next 20. We could at least get some people out. Sir! We need to try. Give the order. Evacuate Boulder. Join us again Monday for the next episode of We're Alive. And now, a word from our sponsors. Starring Jim Gleason, Nate Gies, Brett Newton, Elisa Elliott, Claire Doden, Jay Oligario, Scott Marvin, Jenna McCombie, 
Otto Sturk, Constance Parn, Tammy Klein, Alan Azule, Christian Vieira, Blair Byhauer, Shirley Jordan, Jane Lehach, Tony Ray, Sean Lewin, and Amber Kellogg. I'm Michael Swan. We're Alive was written and directed by K.C. Wayland. Produced by Grayson Stone and K.C. Wayland. Line producer, Simon Nepper. Zombie intern, Eric Wargo. Music intro by Brother Dan. Series artist, Ben Hosack. To find out more and for a full list of cast and crew, please visit our website at we'realive.com. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook for all production-related updates and future projects. Thank you for listening to this Audio Theatre for the Mind by Wayland Productions.